What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to talk about cheap versus expensive Alabama rigs. Alright, so you're here to learn about some of the differences between what you see on Amazon for about five bucks a piece and what you may see on something like Tackle Warehouse for $25 to $30 a piece. And there's some key differences between the two. Alright, so this is the Amazon one. We're going to start here. This is a typical five wire. This particular one has two blades per wire and it comes pretty much ready to fish. You have to bend the wires out. It comes with clips on it so you can hook your lures to it or your teasers to it and get out there and fish. But there's a couple key differences that separate this one from the $30, $25, $30 hog farmer that I'm going to show you here in just a second. First one is going to be how the blades attach to the wire. You see how it's just bent like that? It works. It works for a little while until you start really running it through grass or something. And what will happen is these will walk like this one and it will start to do that. I don't know if you can see that, but this particular one is starting to walk off of the ridge. And I've had them when they come all the way up, all the way down, one way or the other. As you hit things in the water, as you pump the reel, whatever it is, these little keepers start to wear out and these blades will start to slide around on you. Some of them don't even have a bend on them. They just have one single crimped ball and a blade that slides up and down, which works while it's moving, but it's very easy for it to roll over and get hung up around the head. Again, all of these, if you're just getting started with an Alabama rig, these cheap ones will catch fish. This is what I started out with. I've caught dozens of fish on them, and they haven't come apart. They've actually held it pretty well. But what they, the problem that you run into is that they're just inefficient. You'll get them to start walking up like this, and you'll figure out every other cast. You have to bring it up, fix it, cast back out there, and keep fishing. I've since not really fished them since I got my hands on a good one. So let's take a look at that. So this is a hog farmer tactical six wire. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one comes with the spring locks on top already. So you don't have to cut them off, source them yourself. They're already on there. It also comes with nice clips on them if you want to use clips, uh, which I do. It also in the bag, it comes with split rings. High quality split rings are probably hyper wires. If you want to lose the clips and go, go ahead and put the split ring on your jig head. Great way to go. There's no reason not to do that other than it takes a little bit more time. Uh, the other key difference you'll notice is how the blade attaches to the wire. You see how this is crimped? This is crimped. It's got ball bearings on it. This blade is not going anywhere. It's not going to foul up on you. It's not going to walk up and down the wire. It's not going to get wrapped up over the head. Much higher quality, and I have not found anything like that on a less expensive rig. Amazon one, $5.50, $6 a piece, $30 a piece. This will catch fish. This will get you started. This will get you on the bandwagon when it comes to Alabama rigs and start catching fish on it. Once you realize that, you know, this is something I like to fish or not, uh, and you want to get a little bit more serious about it, you're gonna to wanna to start looking at something like a hog farmer bait. There's a variety of different companies that make very good ones. I tend to like this. Uh, this is a flex wire, so as you're fishing it, these thin wires are much higher grade steel, so you can flex them quite a bit and they'll still hold up on you. And when you pump this rig, it will open and close, and so will the cheap ones, uh, but it will open and close uh, to mimic a fling school of bait fish, which is really the whole key of an Alabama rig. So there's the primary differences between an expensive and an inexpensive Alabama rig. If you're just getting started, these cheap ones will get you started. If you wanna get a little bit more serious and a little bit more efficient when you're throwing this rig, step it up to a higher quality one. It will definitely make it easier to fish. You'll be able to not have to mess with it all the time. Every other cast trying to clean it off, fix it, and get it back out there again. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. Definitely pay attention to some of these factors. How the blades attach to the wires, does it come with spring locks or clips or split rings and that will help you enjoy your Alabama rigs a little bit more.